Hello there, Billy Ho here, giving you a special kind of show this week. We're going to do a two-part series on the WGC Dell Match Play. I split the content because there's so much to cover, and especially with just the format and everything, uh, people don't quite understand it unless you've been doing it a few years. And I want you guys that follow me and are in the Discord, I want you to build some good lineups because there's still going to be a percentage of people out there with dead lineups. And the most important strategy is the lineup construction. So we are going to get into that right now. All right, we'll start off with our main channel, Help Me Grow. Subscribe, give a like, share it, share it, share it. Get out there and hit me up and follow me on Twitter. And uh, we're going to start advertising that Discord here very, very soon. It's a lot of fun. All right. Austin Country Club. We're moving out of Florida and going to Austin, Texas for a, D a Pete Dye designed course. Austin Country Club is played at a par 71 and 7,100 yards, roughly. It features overseeded Bermuda grass fairways and approximately 5,500 square feet on Bermuda grass greens overseeded with POA. Uh, and they're kind of smallish greens and typical, uh, about the same we're seeing this week, pretty close. And uh, they'll run about 12 on the stint meter, which is roughly mid medium fast. And it's about at tour average, really. I, I don't know, unless the weather dictates that there's going to be, uh, you know, hard, firmer, faster, you know, uh, rain in the conditions and whatnot. So we'll have to see. All right. The format. Groups are assembled by choosing players from four pools, A, B, C, and D. The top 16 players in the world are group A, and then it basically goes from there every 16. 17 through 32 is B, 33 through 48 is C, and 49 through 64 is D. And then you'll each A player will be assigned a different pod, and then randomly drawn from like a ping pong ball thing for each B, B group, C group, and D group. And of course, they'll compete in a round robin where everybody plays their opponent one time. And it starts Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then the player with the best record will advance to the round of 16. And this is an idea. This is the pool... I pulled early, so you had to be committed. Cam Smith is already backed out, so he'll be replaced by somebody. I guess they'll bump Sam Burns up into the pool A, as far as I know. And uh, then they'll add somebody maybe down at the bottom. I'm not sure who else is bowed out, but we'll have to see. Uh, just wanted to give you guys an idea, but this is the pool for this top 64 this year. So we'll see who's in and who's out. And DraftKings scoring, I uh, wanted to show you guys. And uh, a Yahoo should be similar. I don't recall off the top of my head, but they do holes one, holes lost, streaks and all that. And it's probably slightly in the Yahoo way. Uh, but holes one hole versus holes half, you still get points when they tie a hole. Uh, winning holes are like birdies, three points. Lost holes are kind of just like bogeys. They're just a .75 minus. And uh, matches one are a big five points. Matches halved, which if they finish in a tie, they don't play extra holes. They just tie. So you'll see somebody with a record of one, one, and one, or two, two, zero, and one, or something of that nature. Uh, and of course, of course, the bonus streak is similar, three straight holes. One equals your five-point bonus. That's the, the, the DraftKings scoring. And uh, these are the notes. I guess this, this probably will explain it. Uh, the holes not played bonus is explained and all that stuff uh, right there. So 
just a little tidbit if you want to pause it here and get you some screenshots. But it's in the contest. I mean, you just go pull up the drive. The green is out right now on DraftKings and open it up and go to contest details. It'll tell you everything you need to know. All right, skill sets. So you see I got two different ones now because this is skill set and mindset. You got to have a different mindset when you're playing, uh, especially a Pete Dye course, but in a match play. And uh, the skills uh, required to navigate Austin Country Club, Pete Dye wise, is position golf, be good at Pete Dye golf, and be good in the wind. This course can get Texas windy. Uh, hitting fairways are always good, but position off the tee is what's equally important. And uh, obviously, elite wedge play. These are short holes, and a lot of your incoming shots are going to be 100 to 150 wedges. And of course, you know, hot putting is hot putting, but timely putting wins holes. That means, you, you know, you and your opponent are both there and you have to putt from 35 feet and he's got 15 and you sink your putt and then puts the pressure on them and then they miss. So the fifth skill set is the mindset, the ability to play both the golf course and your opponent. Because if they go first and they hit a bad shot, that's going to dictate what you do on your next shot. And uh, some golfers like Kevin Kisner, Matt Kuchar, Billy Ho thrive at these events and uh with the golf course like i said being so short it has uh five par fours under 400 yards and the three par fives are highly gettable with one of those short par fours being drivable bombers i don't think really have any main advantage uh the course's main defense is the win and i did take a quick early look at the uh forecast since it does start wednesday and it looks quite breezy. We, we're we're going to have some wind to contend with. So that'll make things more interesting. Okay. the As far as strategy goes, uh, this is your official world golf ranking uh, right here. And I went ahead and pulled over the pools just to give you guys an idea. The first thing you want to do when you're building these is get this bracket. This is last year's bracket. So pay no attention to the golfers. But once the golfers are seated, get this bracket. And then uh, your best approach is to work backwards. Separate your brackets into four quadrants like I did here. Quad one, quad two, quad three, quad four. And then you'll pick your favorite golfer or price-wise, you know, price -wise, you'll pick a golfer one from each of these quadrants. That way you have no chance of playing each other in any rounds until they meet in the final four. And then you can go ahead and separate that again out into little bitty pods, like not the same pod, but these two together, or th like this one and this one. And then you pick your golf golfer there, like you could pick five and six. You wanna go opposite sides of the bracket to just give yourself the best chance. And uh, of course the obvious build would be to do that, but you know, if you see a particularly strong section, you know, just say for an example over here in set in quad three up top, you got Billy Ho, Sung J M, Kevin Kisner, and Bubba Watson. You're like, damn, that looks good. Well, you don't want to pick two of these guys in a, in the same lineup because now you've instantly lost a golfer because one of them's not making it. Now you're five of six before you even get to sixteen. Best way to go is if you like those four golfers or to three golfers or whatever, is separate them out into three different lineups with them kicking off your lineup. And then you could create you a pool of guys from there. And then you can mix and match and do what whatever. Uh, the best thing to do, this is actually where uh, lineup generator is very helpful because uh, you can create groups to restrict and separate you know, so you can avoid stacking up too many players in the same section. Now, there's one thing about uh, having two golfers close together, not in the same pod, but say in this pod, in group two and group whatever this is, and you got one in each, and you're like, ah, shit, 
they have to face off and say you're lucky enough to get both of them out. Well, oh no, now I'm going to lose a dot. Well, that's well worth the sacrifice, honestly, because you know you're guaranteed to get this guy over here to the Elite Eight. And once you hit the Elite Eight, you're you're knocking it out the park. The Elite Eight is where you want to start. It's just like the NCAA. You're getting you're going to really start racking up the points after you get out of here. Because everybody up here is guaranteed three rounds, so they're going to score anyway. All right. Well, I guess that'll do it. We're going to help Billy. <laughs> we're going to help Billy Ho's channel grow, aren't we? Well, that's going to wrap up part one of the uh, WGC Dell match play. I uh, hope you got uh, understood what I was trying to explain to you. Uh, go back and rewatch it again if you didn't. That helps me. And uh, until the part two video comes out, peace.